Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at this. Just look at this. 31 beers. Came in the mail today from my brother Rico. Unfreaking believable. The boy has outdid himself this time, guys. Uh, I usually read the, the notes that uh, the people send, if they send any on the beers. I am not going to be able to do this on this one here. It's be seeing that he has sent this many beers, guys. Uh, 31 of them. And some of them I've reviewed, but most of them have been years years ago. And he checks that. I mean, uh, he looks and sees whether I've reviewed it or not most of the time. Uh, so, uh, let's get started on the end here. Bear with me. Uh, I'm hoping this is not going to be a 30-minute video. Like I said, guys, uh, I'm not going to read all the notes that he has sent on each beer. We'll do that as we review it. Uh, but uh, he has sent, he has, he has absolutely outdid himself uh, this time. And there is absolutely no room that I can get all of these beers into the fridge. So, I'm going to have to, you know, stuff in the... The IPAs and, and, the, and the lower ABV beers and stuff like that that need to be reviewed pretty pretty quick. Uh, uh, and some of these others that are, uh, you know, bourbon barrel or whatever, the bigger ABV beers and stuff, will have to uh, either go in the closet or, or sit on the counter here until I can get them in there. So let's start here. Guys, I have reviewed this one before. This is from Six Point. This is their Three Beans. Uh, I think I've done their four beans, and I hear that they have a new one out called five beans. So I don't think I've done the five beans, but I did just three beans uh, uh, many moons ago. So uh, the next one here is uh, Breaker Brewing Timber Talk IPA, a 7% IPA. The next one here from Single Cut, Charlie's Good Night, a 6% Double Dry Hopped IPA. The next one is another one from Single Cut. This is a dry hopped 18 watt session IPA, a 5% IPA. The next one here is 21st Amendment, He Said, which is a Belgian style triple, 8.2%. Uh, I don't, don't really consider that a triple at that ABV, but they can call it whatever they want. The next one here is from Pizza Boy. This is their Sunny Side Up Bourbon Barrel Age version, 9.5%. And guys, y'all know uh, I'm a big fan of the breakfast stout. Uh, uh, I buy I buy it kind of regular, uh, but it's been a while since uh, since I have reviewed uh, that particular beer. Uh, and, and like I said, he goes back and checks uh, to see whether I reviewed it and how long it's been. Uh, he he tells me the last time I reviewed it was back in 2010. Uh, I find that hard to believe it's been that long since I reviewed it, but yeah, it is what it is. The next one here is from Victory. This is their Storm King. I have reviewed this one before too, guys. Uh, he's telling me it was two years ago. Uh, Wirebackers Slam Dunkel. I have done this one also, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he says it was about seven years ago. The next one here is Narwhal. Uh, this is a 2014 edition. Guys, this is a very, very tasty beer. Uh, the Narwhal is a 10.2% uh, Imperial Stout. Uh, the next one here is from Great Divide. This is their Yeti Imperial Stout. Pretty sure I have reviewed it. Uh, he tells me I did it three years ago. The next one here is from Smutty Nose. This is their Baltic Porter. Guys, I, what I remember of this one, it was a very, very tasty beer. And he said that, it was, that I reviewed it back in 2012. Uh, the next one here is from Otter Creek. It's a Russian Imperial style at 10%. The next one here is from Odempsey's. Your Black Heart at an 8% Russian Imperial style. The next one here is Long Trails Unearthed. Uh, he, I reviewed the barrel age version of this last year. This is the non-barrel age version. And this one is from Wicked Weed. This is their dark age bourbon barrel aged imperial style of 12 percenter. And the next one here is Velvet Merkin. Guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I did this a long time ago. Uh, 
do. He doesn't say whether I reviewed it, but I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, this is the 2017 edition, according to the label. The next one here, uh, everybody probably knows that one. This is a, probably one of the best beers from Bell's uh, uh, that they make, as far as I'm concerned. And this is their 2017 edition of it, of the Black Note Stout, 11.2% ABV. And he has sent me some from Jackie O's. Uh, I have had some uh, other subscribers, I think, send me some of their beers. Um, the first one here is Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Champion Ground. And that is an 11% Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. The next one here is Jackie O's uh, Dark Apparition. And it is an 11.5% Russian Imperial Stout. The next one here is Jackie O's Barrel Oil, Bourbon Barrel Oil of Apro Aphrodite. The next one here, and that's an 11.5% of there, guys. And the last Jackie O's here is their Bourbon Barrel Black Maple, an 11% uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Porter. So, uh, Looks like some really tasty stuff from Jackie O's. I don't think those people make a uh, bad beer either. I haven't had one anyway. The next one here is Terrapin's Richland Reserve Barrel Aged Imperial Milk Stout, an 11 percenter. The next one here is from Terrapin. This is their Mutella Chocolate Hazelnut Imperial Stout. Uh, 8.5 percenter on this one. The next one is Nebraska Brewing. This is their Sexy Betty, 11% uh, Imperial Stout with 50 IBUs. Uh, this is their Black Betty Stout aged in a 50 year old <coughs> brandy barrels. Uh, the next one here is Siegmeister's Upon the Shattered Cliffs, a 10.7% 10, 10 Imperial Milk Porter. And we'll get into more information on these beers as I review them, guys. Uh, the next one here is from the brewery. This is So Happened This Tuesday. Uh, he sent me this last year, and I reviewed it in January of 2017. Uh, next month, uh, today is the 29th of December. So we may, uh, I, I usually like to wait at least a year before I re-review a beer. So might might get into that in January in January or February and re-review it. Uh, the next one here is Hardy Woods Christmas Morning. Kind of wish I'd have had to had that one a couple days ago, <laughs> and uh, yeah, reviewed it on Christmas morning for you guys. But we did the CBS then, and that worked out pretty pretty well. So the next one here is from uh, Epic. This is their Triple Barrel. Big Bad Baptist. And that's at 11.4% Imperial Stout aged in whiskey and rum barrels with cocoa nibs. Uh, and we'll get into the ABV on this one when we do it. Alright, and he has sent me another CB. He, he has sent me another CBS, which uh, uh, I had one sent to me and I did on Christmas morning. So more than likely, we're going to save this one for a while, guys. Uh... The last one here, guys, is uh, the 2017 Perennial Abraxas. That is a 10% Imperial Stout brewed with ancho chili, hookah nibs, vanilla beans, uh, rather pricey beer. And we'll get into the ABV of that one, too, when we do the review. Unbelievable beer mile package. The box was incredible. It was 75 pounds worth of beer. Uh, had to drag it into the house. It was a, it was a monster box. It's un freaking believable that he sent me this many beers, and uh, I messaged him and, and told him uh, it was unbelievable. And uh, he said, uh, "Enjoy, uh, happy new year." So Rico, my brother, is the man. Unbelievable beer mail package today. He has sent me some big boxes before, but he has definitely outdid himself this time. So Rico. 
thanks my brother I do appreciate it sir we will get to these as quick as quickly as I can but like I said we'll do the the hoppier beers and the lower ABV ABV beers first and then we'll get in some of these heavier darker uh, higher alcohol content beers so guys unbelievable beer mail package from my brother Rico we need to we need to get these the ones that we can get into the fridge in there and uh, put the other ones uh, in the closet or something so wow all I can say is wow 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 incredible well let's go see what's in the fridge today guys <laughs> 